Good morning and welcome to our special Big Sunday. This is a joint service for St Luke's and Connect Gamston. And if you're here for the first time as well, you are really, really welcome. My name is Sarah Sharp and I'm the Families Minister. Um, I'm Emily and I'm one of the curates. And it's such a joy to be with you this morning. And this might be a big Sunday, but it's not just a normal big Sunday, is it, Sarah? No, absolutely not. This is a, a big Sunday gets muddy. So there's a, it's a little bit more active than our normal ones. And we're, in fact, going to send you away from the screens for a bit as well. Amazing. So I don't know about anyone else, but I've spent a lot of time on screens this week. It's been quite a bit. And what are you particularly looking forward to today, Sarah? Um, I'm really looking forward to that sense of connectedness with each other. Um, I'm hoping that we will do this um, shortened service now and that, that acts really as a kickstart to you going out and having a walk or looking out your window if you're shielding or just wandering around your garden, um, but doing something today actively and then us coming back together at three o'clock for a Zoom um, where we're going to see a little bit more of what you've been up to. As long as you remember to WhatsApp me um, your pictures of what you get up to today. And I haven't got any children at home. Does that mean that I can't get involved? Absolutely not. This really is for everybody. And we really hope that people will notice their surroundings more, lift our heads up and head out for a walk. Um, and do something, even if it's just sitting in your window and looking out a little bit more. Um, we're really hopeful that this is going to be a very special day. Um, and also it ties in a little bit with our series that we're in at the moment, because there's going to be a relational aspect. There's going to be a physical aspect. There's going to be, uh, it's good for our mental health to get out and to enjoy creation. And it's also going to be hopefully spiritual as well. Amazing. I'm really excited about it. And I'm also super excited about how many of you have already got involved and sent in pictures of sunrises. They've been incredible, haven't they, Sarah? They really have. It's amazing. And some of them from, from here, from Nottingham, West Bridgeford, um, and some from much further afield as well. Some wonderful pictures. Amazing. And the great thing about the sunrise pictures is that they remind us that God is doing new things all the time and they're all different. So we can never second guess what God is going to do. And um, that's super exciting. So later on, as we play a worship song, we'll have those pictures on the screen just as a reminder that God is doing a new thing. That's so wonderful. Yeah. And one of the places that God is doing a new thing, I think, is in our hearts. And that's one of the things that we're going to be reflecting on later. And on our walks, we'll be looking for heart shaped things. You might be able to spot some heart shaped earrings going on on my screen. And, um, you know, it's really great that God works in our hearts. And so I think maybe we're going to have a prayer now as we enter into our time of worship that just causes us to reflect on our hearts with God. Let's just hold our hands like this, like they're little tight hearts, um, all curled up. And, um, and as we pray now, let's just um, consider ourselves becoming more open to God so the heart gets bigger like that. Um, so let's just pray together. Lord God, we thank you for your heart for us that you just love us and delight in us. And Lord, as we open our hearts to you today, um, as we come to you in worship, would we be reminded of, again of just how much we love you? Would you accept this offering as, of our love as we worship you now? Amen. Amen. So you might want to jump to your feet. You might want to stay seated and reflect on the pictures on the screen you might want to sing really loudly or you might want to sing really quietly but let's worship God together this morning
I worship you. You are here, working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. Cause you are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God. darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are here, touching every heart. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, healing every heart. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, turning lives around. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, mending every heart. I worship you. I worship you. And you are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. And you are way maker, miracle worker. Promise keep light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Even when I don't see that you're working, even when I don't feel that you're working, you never stop, you never stop working, you never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see that you're working, even when I don't feel that you're working. You never stop working. You never, never stop. You never stop working. Even when I don't see that you're working. Even when I don't feel that you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. and about in the fields near my home. As we gaze out of our windows today, or as we go out on this special, very muddy walk that I've got here, we're gonna think about how God can make all things new. He's doing that around us all the time. And he's doing that within our hearts too. And he also wants to transform the waste areas of our lives as well. It's very squelchy and muddy here. It's hard to imagine that anything new would grow here, but it will. I love this walk. It's one of my favorites. And over the first lockdown and then over the summer and in the autumn, it was still easy to spot new things growing whereas now it just looks quite muddy doesn't it on your walk today you'll see what you can find that's growing and that's new and you'll see all sorts because actually when you look closely you can see all sorts of things over here i can see berries appearing on some of the trees and bushes there are still green 
leaves on lots of the trees. There's ivy. There's all sorts of things, new things that are sprouting and budding. God is always making things new as well. It's what he does. We see it around us in nature and we can see it in our lives too. The new things, the things that he is changing and um, producing in us all the time. And of course, the Bible tells us that in Jesus, we are a new creation. The old is past and the new is here. I wonder if you could think back, if you know Jesus, what new things has he produced in your life? Maybe a sense of reconciliation, of being put right with God, of knowing him. Maybe it's a better sense of who you are a loved child of God. What new things has God produced in you through Jesus? As you walk, maybe you could chat um, with those you're walking with or as you gaze out of your window, maybe you could text somebody or tell someone in your small group the things that God has done that are new in you. If I'd walked here earlier this week, I would have seen snow and ice around. The ground would have been really hard. Sometimes our hearts can become hard too. The next part of the walk is heart. You're going to look for heart-shaped stones. Stones are really hard, aren't they? They're really tough and sometimes our hearts can become tough and hardened. Maybe because bad things have happened to us somebody's hurt our feelings or we've just been through a particular time that's difficult in our lives so we shut down a bit we harden ourselves and sometimes we don't even notice it's happened we need to kind of take some time to look at our hearts examine them work out are our hearts still soft are we still loving people around us showing love in all we do or if we cut ourselves off and of course, that's even harder to work out at the moment. As you walk and you look for those heart-shaped stones, could you think about whether or not your heart has become hardened? Maybe you've hardened your heart against the news because it's been so difficult in recent months. God can make all things new. The Bible tells us that he can take our heart of stone and he can breathe life into it again. He can make it a heart of flesh once more. As you walk and you wonder, think about that. Think about your own heart. How soft is it? How loving is it? Could you invite God into your heart to make it a heart of flesh that beats, that loves, that helps, that sees the beauty of things around you. Well, normally I would walk that way over there. Can you see? Normally I would walk that path behind me and I'd find a stile on the other side and climb over and go through that field and into some woods. But it's looking very muddy today, I don't think that's a good route to take. This walk looks so different when it's springtime and summer. In fact, in the spring, there were beautiful, um, in fact, over the summer, this was full of crops. It looked amazing. The farmer in the next few weeks I assume, I don't know much about farming, but in the next few weeks and months we'll start to prepare this soil and plant and sow all those seeds. Hopefully you've picked up some seeds, if you haven't don't worry or if you're doing this from your home it doesn't matter. What you will do when you head out on your walk is look for an area of wasteland, somewhere that Maybe it doesn't belong to anyone. Maybe it's near a 
road sign or just by the side of the road and you'll imagine what it could be and you'll take your seeds and you'll plant them in there taking that little bit of God's potential that I always think of when I think of seeds and placing it in the ground asking God to grow that seed to plant something new in that wasteland God promises to make ways in the wasteland of our lives too. When we invite him in, when we ask him to see those areas that we've done nothing with and to grow something new in them. There might be some time in your life that uh, you can give up, that you can give to him. Maybe there's a skill that you have that you've never used um, for him, for his kingdom. Um, maybe you're really good at baking or at smiling at people, waving. Maybe you're really good at writing encouraging notes. Maybe you could give God that skill for the first time and, and put it to use for him, sending encouraging notes to people, telling them um, how um, much they're loved by God, cheering up their day, making everything feel a bit brighter for them so God can make all things new we see it all around us in creation in making things new all the time and we can see it and know it in us as well we can see how our hearts can become new again when we let go of things that have hurt us when we ask him to remove the hardness and we also know that he can do new things in the wastelands that we see in our lives and around us when we offer them to him and we, when we imagine with him what they could look like. As you walk, you can use your piece of paper we've emailed to you to create a face with sticks, stones, leaves. Think of who you are praying for.
God says, on God who speaks, opens grace, and with one word, I God says, God of hope, God of future, you can't take Amen. What a privilege it is to be able to lift people we care about to a God who cares for them more than we do and a God who's able to help more than we ever possibly could. We're coming to the end of, of our video this morning and hopefully you're all ready uh, to be for our big Sunday gets muddy. Um, but in order to join in you're going to need um, a pack and uh, you know now see a shot on the screen which shows that on the porch of our house here in on the vicarage in Scarfell Close um, those uh, those leaflets and packets of seeds are available for you and um, please do come and pick one up um, an electronic copy will also be sent out to you in a few moments time so uh, everyone has a chance to join in so if you do want to come and pick please do use anti back gel as we've been as, as we've, we've been learning to do wherever we go at the moment You'll find an envelope with some leaflets in. Welcome to Big Sunday Gets Muddy. Everything you need is in there. And you'll also find a packet of seeds. In a very small envelope. And please, please do take one of those too. And just to say, um, this is for everyone. It may be that you um, are not able to, to, to leave home at the moment. Perhaps you're shielding, perhaps you're, you know, it, it's not, not wise for you to go out and about. But you can do this even in your own garden or if you just have a small outside space or even sitting in the window as you look out upon the world that God has made. Perhaps with a, a plant pot or, or, and, and some soil and perhaps some seeds that you've got at home. We'd like everyone to feel that we can join in together. When you finish, Sarah would love you to WhatsApp any of the pictures of things you've seen or discovered or, or, or things you've realised as you've been out and about. And uh, a number should appear on screen um, for you to WhatsApp uh, what you've discovered to her. And then at three o'clock, um, there's an opportunity for us all to gather back together on Zoom. And the, the Zoom link will be made available to you too, um, so that we can share and enjoy listening and sharing all we've discovered together. So let's get out, let's get muddy, let's get exploring together with God. I'm going to finish now by praying for a blessing. It's an ancient blessing that God gave to a people on the move, just like we're going to be on the move a little later. So may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you his peace. Amen.